Good morning, amigos. Dr. Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com. I ran across uh, a really sad and pathetic study in Science Daily the other morning. I want to share it with you. It's curbing your enthusiasm for overeating. Mouse study focuses on cannabis-like molecules that augment feeding behavior. This is from the University of California at Riverside, just down the street from where I am, West LA. Well, they did all kinds of studies and, you know, millions and millions of dollars are poured into uh, laboratory studies that try to come up with the right drugs to stop the obesity epidemic, which is climbing has been climbing since the late 70s and continues to climb because well that if they could find a drug that would cure obesity wow uh, that would be the wealthiest richest company in the world in world history so they're chasing a real rainbow pot of gold there and they're not going to find it. It's all, it's a lot of money and time and effort uh, down the drain. They're not making the connections. They're not making the connections that Chinese medicine makes, for example, that body trust makes. So, obesity means you're carrying a lot of excess yin. Yin, of course, is material. Now, what I found, and I have seen uh, and talked to thousands of people who suffer from obesity, and I'll tell you one thing, they are cut off from their bodies. They are not listening to their bodies at all. Because in the gut area, in the stomach area, they're constantly bloated. I mean they're bloated 24 hours a day. They wake up in the morning bloated. They go to bed at night bloated. They eat while they're bloated. But they're not feeling it. They're usually distracted. These people usually eat distracted. They're doing something else while they're eating. So that's where you start. You cannot lose weight and keep it off unless you train yourself to listen to your body because the body is a genius and knows exactly when to eat, uh, when to stop eating, overeating, and what to eat and what not to eat, which are of tertiary importance, let me tell you. First of all, Obese people need to recognize that they never feel hunger. They may have an appetite. Oh, indeed, they have an appetite. Appetite is the desire for food. Hunger is an empty feeling in the stomach area that motivates animals and peoples to go to work. Peoples to go to work. It's an empty feeling. Well, what's the opposite of empty? Stuffed. Bloated. So they're having the opposite message from their body which is never wrong and never lies is constantly telling them don't eat if they were to take their meal their meal or meals to a quiet place and sit down like any animal and be with that food and be listening to their body they would only need a couple of bites they would only eat a couple of bites before they say my body says I better stop. So, I can't tell obese people to stop eating because they do need to eat less food than they use in order to use all that yin. But what I will say is make your meals very special occasions with special china if you need to, um, a special place with nice music do not work, do not write, do not talk, do not drink alcohol or get stoned or anything else. Be with your body completely and listen to it and get in the habit of listening to it and trusting it. In fact, put your hand 
right there in the stomach area. Put your hand there. After every bite, put your hand there and ask your body, have you had enough? And listen to, uh, pay attention to the taste because the taste will be delicious, kind of. You know, for obese people, really food is not delicious. It's really not. Um, but it is better tasting the first bite. The second bite, it's less tasty. The third bite's even less tasty. So listen to this up here. Begin the process of trusting yourself. It's self-trust. It's body trust that is ultimately the answer to excess weight, to obesity, and uh, just excess weight in general. So there you go, obesity. It's not a matter of uh, uh, torturing rodents to come up with the right drugs. It's about body trust. And that's all for today, amigos. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hasta mañana.